Well, welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. Today, we're gonna explore Angel Tower. And we're actually gonna use Gar for a change, instead of Momo. Uh, because Gar... It's kind of... Rec this is kind of his place. Uh, this is the point in the story of Gar and Ryu, so kind of just want him to have him be here. Uh, okay, yes, you have that, which I don't really need. Typhoon seem to do just fine to take out that Spectre, and that is my main concern, because Spectres will reduce my, my AP, which is a lot harder to get back than HP. Alright, cool, that's fine. Gar is also extremely slow, he has zero agility, uh... And I don't really plan on fixing that anytime soon. Alright, cool. I can just go up here now. Uh, there are items. E okay, cool. So I can jump down these. Ivory dice. That's kind of meh. Let's keep exploring a little bit, because I bet there's other stuff hidden around here that I can still get. Uh, I don't know how fast you are. Hopefully Ryu can take you out. I still have no idea what I can steal from you because I've never successfully done so. Okay, no, I have to take him out with Nina. That's unfortunate. So if I don't take him out with Nina, he's just going to get rid of my AP. So I might as well just use Nina as AP to take care of him. Because he's, I'm going to lose the AP either way, so... Okay, so I can go this way... Oh, and I can jump down this side as well. Okay. I'm supposed to be patrolling, but... What if I hurt myself when I jump? Okay, so that's kind of letting you know that you can jump. Aha! Nothing. Alright, cool. So I have to jump down that way in order to get back to the top. This place is actually pretty short. Ah, uh, some trickers. So these guys I can steal gems from. Um, I'm not super concerned about it. I don't remember what they're weak to, but they're also really fast. Yeah, they're even faster than Nina, and Nina has 23 agility? Or maybe they're just speed tied, actually. But they didn't really have anything particularly cool to steal, ability-wise, that I could find. Um, you can steal gems from them, which sell for like 100 gold. So, not, not anything super exciting with these guys, but... They're there. There's something. Yeah, still couldn't steal anything. These guys were a lot harder, uh, like, five levels ago. <laughs> Alright, well. Since I'm required to jump down, I'm guessing I'm supposed to be jumping down next to this guy. But let's see what happens if I jump down over here instead. I could probably have walked through that. I can walk through here, so I can continue to jump down there. Ah, there's a treasure. All right. I had a feeling I'd find more treasure around here. I did notice earlier that the lizard men actually have a new ability that I hadn't seen yet. It doesn't look like they use it very often. Um, it's called Wind Strike, which seems to, you know, be a wind-based attack. Uh, I do kind of want to see if I can get that from them. So I will probably make this fight a little bit longer than it needs to be. See if I can get that move. Uh, let's just... Let's just rest. Continue to examine and attack. All right. Eh, he really doesn't want to use it. I did not... Yeah. Like, I've only seen him use it once, and I have fought a lot of lizard men. So, I have a feeling it is not a very often used ability. And excuse me if I'm a little closer to the mic here, I'm pushing my computer farther away from the mic so that I am not going to have the whir of the fan on it come over the mic as badly. There we go, that should help a little bit. Let's go get some treasure. A wisdom seed, all right. That's that's pretty neat. Um, I can walk through this way. Oh yeah, I looked over at this before. Okay, I think that's all the treasure I can get here. 
So far, Angel Tower is actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. I may have been including, I may in fact be including this with the previous thing I recorded. I don't know, that's a future Brendan project. I guess I'll find out. But let's take that guy out real quick. Get some more money, money's good. I do have the Midas Stone on Gar, so that he is giving me twice the amount of money that I would normally be getting which is pretty sweet. Just hop down here. Do all the hoppies. Uh, looks like there's a little bit further over here I can explore. I can also go up. So I can go up and I can go down. I don't actually know which one I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm going to explore down first because I feel like going up is probably more of where I'm supposed to be going. It is Angel Tower after all. So let's try going down. Uh, there's a woman lying beyond the veil of light. This is also something I feel like I shouldn't be, uh, can, can Gar do anything with this? All right, well, this is also something I feel like I shouldn't be having on screen. Let's just, uh, <laughs> Let's just head up to the top then. <laughs> and I guess we'll go down. Gotta get up to get down. All right, looks like we are now in Angel Tower proper. I have the initiative, so I should just be able to take out the Spectre without using my AP, which I am fine with. Cool. Double cool. All right. And I can steal beef jerky from the... Okay, that way it continues to go down. What about over here? This wall looks breakable. I have to have Gar be so big. That wall definitely looks breakable, but I have not noticed so far in this game the ability to break walls. Uh, I've not seen that be a thing yet. I know Momo can blow stuff up, but I've not seen her like break a wall or anything. I don't know if I can learn that, but it made me confused. And I'm not particularly thrilled about that. Eh, let's just do a Typhoon. That would probably be sufficient. Oh, just barely. Just hit Ryu. You did not hit Ryu. Stop hitting Nina. She's like the one person I don't want you to hit. All right, cool. I did also find, uh, back when I was exploring the, uh, when I went back into the volcano to explore. I really like that move. Maybe I should be seeing if I can learn that. Um... Especially since Ryu seems to be very susceptible to it. When I was exploring the volcano, I did learn that confusion, because uh, the little vents there that shoot the yellow stuff at you can cause confusion. I did learn that using, or if you just walk around for a while, uh, your confusion will actually get cured. So the only item I have found that will cure confusion is the panacea. But, if you just walk around for a little while, it looks like you will be able to cure confusion just naturally. It'll go away on its own after a little while. Ooh, you're new. Uh, let's try and steal from you. Attack. Examine that guy, because I bet he has something neat. Couldn't steal from him. Okay, he casts death. That is just straight up magic. Death in this game is apparently butterflies. Got it. Can't learn that ability. Well, let's have Nina kill the Cerberus, Ryu attack, Gar attack. 
I don't... I don't know how I like feel about his finger on the string there. You notice that? Future me zoom in on that. I don't I don't think I like that. I don't know how I feel about that. That's uh it's a little freaky, honestly. Also, it looks like the only thing of particular note he has is death, which there is equipment I could be putting on that resists death magic. Which probably would be a good plan here. Okay, so I've got multiple ways to drop down. I've got a door I can go through. I think Gar might... Okay, I can't actually drop down. That looks like something I should be able to jump down to. But apparently not. Alright. I do kind of like how I can't switch to Gar. Uh, in small spaces, because he's just too damn big. Oh yeah, you can learn blind from these guys if you hadn't learned it early, early in, but I suggest getting them from the uh, birds at the beginning of the game. It's a lot easier. And actually, now that I'm seeing how big this place is, I'm kind of glad I decided to make this its own episode, which I kind of figured it was going to be this way. I mean, it's Angel Tower. I, I kind of expected it to be a proper dungeon, and so far it is not particularly disappointing in that. No, oh, I couldn't steal his beef jerky. Oh well. Don't howl. Cool. I'm fine with you attacking. I'm perfectly fine with you just attacking me. I just don't want you howling at me. I do kind of want to go and explore that, uh... Those shoal caves, or whatever they're called. I know they said that I couldn't do anything with them, uh, just yet. But... Ah, we got some push block puzzles! I know they said I couldn't do anything with them yet, but I do want to explore them anyway, just to see if if there is anything by chance for me to see there, because I would not be surprised if there was something I could see. Aha! So now I can go across that. Cool. Well, let's go in here first. There's a treasure chest up there. Alright. I don't know what way is progress in this place. I'm guessing if I continue going down, that's how I get to progress. Uh, oh, you can also learn Flying Kick from these guys. That's actually a pretty good move. Flying Kick is uh, does damage based on your... based on your agility. So that actually makes it extremely useful. Nina, go ahead and defend Ryu attack, Gar attack. Because if Nina takes too much more damage, she'll die, and I don't want that to happen. Hey, got him anyway. So Flying Kick is actually a good one. I do suggest trying to get that, because if you have a high agility character with low attack, you can just use Flying Kick instead, which I'm pretty sure is zero ability. Or zero AP, and you just attack using your... Uh, agility instead of your attack stat. Which would be pretty good for someone with low attack, but high agility. Like Nina, for example. Actually, that probably wouldn't be a bad thing for me to just equip D Nina at some point if I want her attacking without having to use her agil er, her MP. AP. Whatever. Okay, so there's a way down. And there's a door. And there's lizards. So let's use some lightning. Attack and attack. Okay, let's keep exploring here. Got a soul gem. Nice. Uh, Nina had one of those equipped at the beginning of the game. So with the soul gem, it is a one-use item. It breaks after being used, but it will revive you if you get KO'd once. Or revive you once after you get KO'd. So it's pretty good, but it's honestly more useful to just sell. In my opinion, anyway. Okay, well, I can go down here and see what there is to see. Um, I think I... I feel like that's going to be progress, though. And I don't quite want to be doing progress just yet. I do want to go get that treasure. 
So I think I'm gonna run back and get that treasure real quick. And then uh, come back as I am, well, doing something different. All right, let's see what this guy is. A mithril helm. All right, cool. I'm pretty sure that's what I had. Yeah, those were the things that I had already bought for people. Um, Pico might be able to equip one of those. Pico might be able to equip one of those. So that could save me some money. If nothing else, I can sell it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm back here again. I do want to just go down the stairs real quick, make sure it doesn't immediately take me to items. No? Okay. Cool. That's what I wanted to check. So instead, let's go through here. See where it leads. Oh, this led me to the treasure. Duh. So I need to go down the stairs. I, for some reason, forgot I've been over here. Uh, I'm not even interested. Let's just, let's just progress here. I've been losing quite a bit of AP in this dungeon. Uh... If you're unlucky, a single round with some specters will definitely do that to you. Before I go further down, let's explore around. Okay, that just takes me a different way to go down. Got it. Uh, let's use lightning. Attack the phantoms, because they can insta-kill. I will probably be skipping a number of fights. Uh in my editing, just to kind of speed things up a bit. On the one hand, you know, the fights are part of it, and I feel like I should include them. On the other hand, they get pretty redundant pretty quickly. So, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of a mixed bag for me on to keep fights or not in games like these. There we go. Well, he's guard does a shit ton of damage. He's super slow, so he will... Enemies will always go first, but at least he does a lot of damage. Let's just... And I can steal beef jerky here, which is very handy. Just have a 100 healing point item that is very easy to steal. It's almost like they expected you to be doing that. As they probably expected you to not be coming in here with Momo and be coming in with Gar instead, who does not have any support skills. Napalm? Alright. Pretty sure that is just a better version of the Molotov. We've got a dead end over here, which may or may not have treasure. Uh, speaking of enemies to steal from, let's steal that. Ryu attack. Gar attack. I did set my party to attack formation uh, with Ryu as point. I'm pretty sure Ryu has defense against death on right now, so I'm not super concerned if they use it on Ryu. He's also the only person with uh, magic that can restore life to dead members, though, so that that is a little bit more concerning, but whatever. We'll make it work. Oh, they have Belladonna. I don't know what that does. I guess I'll find out. And you have Howling, which I still haven't figured out if I can learn or not. No, uh, just affected Nina. That's fine. Nina can be confused. It'll go away after walking for a little bit, so I'm not super concerned. What does the... Oh, I've been getting a lot of money, too. That Midas Stone is really good for that. What does the Belladonna do? What is the Belladonna? Destroy one target. Flame and Wind attacks against all target. Flame attack against all target. Electric. Alright, cool. So the Belladonna is insta-death on a target attack item. Got it. Not honestly very concerned about keeping that. We've got another push block puzzle that I can do here. Alright. Can't do anything there. So let's have Gar push this block. Okay. So, I need to have Gar, Gar, to push this block. And 
in order to progress past here. It looks like I need to put a block right there in order, in order to continue down. First, I need to kill off this Lizardman, which I should be able to do in this one round. I'm not super concerned. Go ahead, shield. That's probably the best thing you can do, because it means you're not doing damage to me. And I'll still kill you, because both of my people here do a lot of damage. Yep, there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, so yeah, I need to push that block. And maybe I don't need to push it there, actually. Huh. Okay, so this is where I can come down on the other side. Oh, okay. So, potentially, I could push that block in right there in order to get over. That's probably a place where I can drop down. Ah, oh, we are now in the push block puzzle portion. Which means we're probably close to the end of this place, if I had to guess. I've not actually gone over here. What is over here? A uh, treasure. Cool. And what is this treasure? Uh, skill link. Well, those are always good to have. Okay. Need to get a little bit of healing on Ryu. Uh, beef jerky should be sufficient. And now that I'm over here... I can't... Ah, yes, because I pushed that block through, so now I can push this block in. And that doesn't actually do anything for me. Cool. Huh. Alright. So I think what I need to be doing... Okay, so I need to get another block, push it there... And that other block was that block. Got it. Okay, I need to reset the puzzle. Which I think I can do by leaving. Okay, so first off, we push this guy in. Then we go back around. Next, we'll push this guy up. Okay, we'll want to push this guy over by two so we can push this guy all the way up. Got it. So let's go back around and do that. All right, now we'll push this guy over by two so we can push it up by two. Before we push the other block up, we'll come around and push that other block down. So we'll push this guy all the way down here to make a little path there. And then we'll come around and push this guy back up. Very slowly. Strength puzzles. All right, cool. And now we should be able to go over here. Cool. So yeah, I can jump down from there because this whole thing will probably reset after I go down the stairs. So that is probably just my exit. Kill this guy real quick. And then we can go down the stairs. Boop, and boop. All right, there we go. Gar is a very low level right now. I will probably do more with him after I find a good master to just throw on him and keep him there. All right, yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. Please, allow Ryu and I to go on alone. I don't like the sound of that. Gar... Why did I have to lose Nina? I'm not a fan of that. Alright, well. Guardian Geist. 234. Okay. Oh, now I'm down at the bottom of this thing. Okay. Guardian Gats. 201. 
I'm gonna guess that's the one I... That's gonna be the last one. Guardian Gaw, 198. Big platform there. Guardian Gar, 299. Recorded on these stone tablets are the names of us guardians, otherwise known as Dragon Slayers. As we are surrounded by the bones of dragons. The number below my name is the number of dragons I killed in the war. And apparently they aren't pleased. Ryu? Let me tell you what happened to your people. What happened to the brood? Nearly 400 years ago, the savage and malevolent brood attempted to conquer the world, igniting a fierce war. The brood were strong and awesome. We, the people of Urken, beseeched our god for protection from their great evil. Our god bestowed upon us guardians, her holy might in order to fight the brood. After a mighty struggle, the last of the brood were defeated and their bones laid here. Ryu, you are the last of the brood. Once you are dealt with, my purpose shall be complete. Prepare yourself, Ryu. Alright, fighting Gar once again. Well, this time, I have learned from my previous fight with him uh, that we're going to go with Frost. Let's see, do I want Eldritch? Miracle, I'd be losing 11. So I'd only be able to keep this form for a couple of turns. But it would be really strong. So let's go with it. He's going to hit me. Honestly, didn't do a whole lot. Behemoth! Dragon Behemoth. Frost Dragon Behemoth. <laughs> I forgot they look so derpy. Oh my god, that's adorable. Meteor Strike, damage based on HP. Blitz uh, attacks all opponents. Users HP is halved. Charge based on defense. Frost Breath, Frost Claw. All right. So that's pretty cute. Also, my HP is enormous in this form. Well, let's just use Frostclaw. Yeah, I didn't do a whole heck of a lot. 161. I don't know. I kind of feel like Miracle Form isn't super worth it here. Probably would have been better to just go with Thorn, honestly. I mean, at least I'm, you know, getting free hits, basically. I'm going to revert after this turn, but I might as well just put the hit in on him. All right, cool, I, I won. <laughs> Should have done that the first time I fought him. I won the battle, yay! <laughs> I beat up Gar and learned Vitalize. Neat, I think that's heal everyone. Oh, intelligence went up a little bit. That's pretty nice. AP and HP went up quite a bit. That's good. I need that. Ugh. Just as I suspected. We were no match for the true power of the brood, but why? Hi. What? Why don't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. He is not your enemy. Something, uh, something seems to be breaking in my mind here. That's not good. Ryu hears the voice of the brood. Jeez. Ah, 
Hi. Kaiser Dragon. Oh. All right. Gar. I don't want to lose Gar. He's cool. Come back. Also, what the hell happened to Ryu? <laughs> I don't remember a whole lot at this point of the... Oh, okay. Alright. I'm not controlling any of this, by the way. This is just kind of happening. Why do you run? Because he's a baby and he doesn't know what's going on. We're not like them. We're not supposed to be with them. Hey, I remember seeing you in my dream in like the first episode. Oh, I'm a little dragon wolf again. Cute. And I breathe fire at Gar. <laughs> oh, I went back to Donna Mine. Interesting. Also, I am no longer little. All right. All right. Ryu? Do you recognize me? I've been looking for you for years. Ever since you vanished from Angel Tower. Then I heard stories of a dragon appearing in an old mine. Ryu. This is your... Ryu, can you forgive me? Yeah. We cool, dog. You killed lots of my people, but you didn't actively try to fight me. <laughs> I thought that, that was my purpose. It kind of was. That's literally what you were created to do. Anyway, let's get you out of here first, okay? Here's your gear. If you want to hear what I have to say, come with me. Shouldn't stay here very long. All right, well, we adult Ryu now. So, I really wish I could save here. Uh, I wonder if my stats changed at all. They did not appear to. Or actually, no, I think my, no, I think those were just my stat changes from going up a level. All right, well, we adult Ryu now. Uh, and I think we have been definitely going long enough in this episode. So I will see you guys in our next episode of Breath of Fire uh, as I look for a place to save and possibly go back to make sure I didn't miss anything as a child. I don't think I did, but I do kind of want to make sure. <laughs>